Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mimi. <laughs> it's a stormy, windy day today. Um, we have to give God thanks for showing us all the things that he's capable of and for sparing our lives. I am not afraid of dying. I am not afraid of dying. Living is what you ought to be afraid of. You know, with living comes all the things that are unexpected. With death, you know you're dead. But once your life is right with God, then you have absolutely nothing to worry about. I give God the glory. I honor him. I thank him for always being on my side, waking me up on this side of the fence this morning, ensuring that I am clothed in my right mind, providing a roof over my head, food on my table, and shoes on my feet. How can I not love God and how can I not glorify his goodness and his greatness towards me and his mercies that endure forever? I want to thank God this morning. I want to big him up. I want to place him on the pedestal that he ought to be because he's above all, above anything that I will ever be, above anything that I will ever place anyone. And I want to give him thanks and glorify his name today. God is awesome. And when I tell you that God is good to me, I know why I say that God is good to me. Because you can give your own testimony and I can testify about the goodness and the greatness of God because we have come in contact with his greatness and his goodness over our life. Greed is, <laughs> greed is going to be the debt of most of us. If you are a person who is greedy and is unable to satisfy with the things that God has blessed you with, and you want more and more and more and more, and you're not giving him thanks or asking him to cover what he has blessed you with, or you don't give to others some of the things that God has blessed you with, then it says a lot about you as an individual. Also, it speaks to who you are as a person. Because sometimes, in order for God to bless us the way he ought to bless us, we have to glorify the things he had blessed us with and 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 give him thanks glorify him for the things that he has blessed us with and give him thanks for all that he is doing in our life but we are looking over other people's fence looking at what god is blessing them with and losing sight of what he has blessed us with thus far but you know i like a push with butter god give you a little taste and a little taste, and a little taste to see how you can handle it. Because why most of us are not wealthy, why most of us are not rich, quote unquote, is because we cannot handle simple thing that God has blessed us with. So he is watching us to see if he blessed us with something else. Because bear in mind, God knows what you need. He knows what you desire. He knows what he's supposed to equip you with to live in the life like or in a time like this. But if you're not able to handle simplistic things when he blessed them with you, or you're not grateful, or you are one of those selfish human beings who don't share or give to other people when God has blessed you with something, then honey, how do you expect to increase your territory? How do you expect to increase your territory or you falsify the blessing of God? Hmm? How do you expect to increase your territory? You must give God thanks for the small so he can bless you with the big. But because you want it all at once, you don't thank him for the small things like waking you up this morning. Like make sure your family is okay. Like make sure your husband, your children, your wives, your girlfriends, your boyfriends are okay. Make sure that you have a job. You don't thank him for this. You don't thank him for, for you know, blessing you in a bed where you're comfortable how is it that you not acknowledge God when you get up first thing in the morning, but you can acknowledge a social media event? How? Listen, God is the author and the finisher of our life. And I implore you and I urge you to seek him. Seek him like you've never sought him before. Because listen, our time is coming. Listen, the rupture is at hand. And I have been hearing this from I was a child, from my grandparents, from my mother, from whomever I come into contact with who are older than me, that God is coming. And every New Year's Eve, we used to look out for God. But let me tell you something, because we have now become lovers of ourselves and we are not looking out for him, then guess what? That's when he's going to show up. 
but I pray we'll all be ready for his return. I pray that we set our business straight so we can meet Jesus Christ at the gate. You hear me? I pray we all be ready. Because I'm not perfect, you know. God knows I'm lustful. Hey, listen, I am not perfect. I am not even though I can preach the word or I can teach the word, I can say these things. It's because I'm good with words too. And God has blessed me with an anointing that I ran from for years. And now him drip me up. So I can say these things. So I'm saying them. And I'm living and abiding in the will of God. Right? I'm lustful. God knows. Allah, Jesus. God knows. That's what I'm dealing with right but he's a forgiving God and when we confess our sins to him he will hear us and he will heal the land read your Bible your money in other Bible mm -hmm. read your Bible sometimes it's good come off Instagram Facebook and all other grams and read your Bible it's a beautiful book well God bless you mm -hmm. God bless you I will see you soon have a blessed Sunday and give to some, my God, man, give somebody even a slice of bread this morning. Stretch out thy hand. Don't be tight, you know. Stretch out thy hand and do it willingly. If you're not doing it willingly, near me a bread and make it choke you. Right? Have a blessed day.